Hey guys, it is Owen and Dad. We're back in Disney Infinity for another Box Fun for The Mandalorian Season 2 coming out. That's right, we're back. Mandalorian Season 2 just came out on Disney Plus yesterday. So cool. And we saw the first episode. We're so excited. So, this is going to be a heavy, spoiler filled Disney Infinity Toy Box Fun with Owen and me. Yeah. Because we're going to be talking all things Mandalorian. So, if you haven't seen it yet, Season 2, Episode 9, or Chapter 9. The Marshal. If you haven't seen it yet, be warned. We are spoiling everything right here, and there's some big... Well, there's one big spoiler, that's for sure. So if you haven't seen it yet, and you don't want to get spoiled, watch this video after you watch the first episode, right, Owen? Yeah. Okay, guys. Okay. We're getting to it. So we're back. Owen's got Boba Fett, and we've got a few other characters that we think we might see in the Season 2 of The Mandalorian to come into Toy Box Fun as well. We're not going to say who they are yet. Mm-hmm. We're going to bring them in, but we got the first one. Last warning for spoilers. Who did we see in the, in the new Mandalorian episode yesterday? We saw... I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> Tease it all up and you don't know. Boba Fett! We saw Boba Fett! Yeah, I thought about the new guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, like, man, this is all we talked about yesterday and everyone's like, I don't know, who was it? <laughs> I don't know about the other guy. We saw the weak, we saw a weak way. Weak way alert. No. Okay, guys, if you didn't see it or if you saw it, we saw Boba Fett. Well, first we saw Boba Fett's armor. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. When we <laughs> the marshal had bought Boba Fett's armor on Tatooine from Jawas, and they showed us all that, which was really cool. And then the marshal and the Mandalorian teamed up to take on a crate dragon. It was so cool. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. First time we've actually seen a crate dragon. <laughs> In live action Star Wars, it was so cool and it was huge too. I didn't think they were gonna be that big. Yeah, they were actually pretty big. They were like sandworms almost. Yeah, it was all like, going underground. It was really cool. I thought it was more just like a, like a, just like a dragon. Like like it wasn't that big. Like when you saw the um, the skeleton in A New Hope, like when when C three PO and Archie Detour were walking past, that was a great dragon skeleton there. It wasn't as big. Well, it was pretty big, but yeah, it was big. Yeah, but this one in Mandalorian was huge. It was crazy. This guy is pretty hard. Oh, no! <laughs> That's right, guys. So, any, any, we've all been waiting years to find out. We know in the comics, um, Star Wars, you know, Boba Fett lived in different ways. Uh, we won't get into all that because it's not official canon anymore. Back in 2014, I think it was 2014. I think it, yeah, you're right. You're right. No, no, it was before. This. Anyways, back when, after Disney bought Lucasfilm. Yeah, before Force Awakens came out. Yeah, and the story group came in. They came in and said that oh, it was already official that the books and comics weren't official canon um, for Star Wars because, the, as George Lucas said, the only real official canon is the movies and the Clone Wars. Yep. Oh, what no. Was that? What, 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 what was about? Official Star Wars canon, official story. What about Rebels? Yeah, and yeah, Rebels was too. That came afterwards. But back then, like when, when George Lucas was still in control of Lucasfilm, he said... The only real canon is the stuff that he makes. Once I take All the things like the books and everything are sort of like a, a secondary level. They're not officially part of the Star Wars story. They're kind of okay. adding on to it. So. so so George Lucas isn't ahead of Lucasfilm anymore? No, he sold it to Disney. Oh, right. Yeah, he sold it to Disney, sadly. But I don't blame him. Anyway, we won't get into wow. all of that. How'd you blame him? Yeah. Okay, is that Does one? take him out easily? But if it's taken on Grievous, let's see if he can do it. Maybe I'll treat the character soon. Okay, well, we gotta, we gotta keep talking about Boba Fett, and then we're gonna talk about the other characters. I thought it was neat how, with the concept how I actually took the armor and, you know. Oh, the marshal? Yeah, that was that was neat. Yeah, it was cool how, yeah, he so he was in the, on Tatooine, and he was like, I think he was almost, he was like. Did he just fall off again? He was like passing out because he was hungry and, and uh, dying of thirst, and all of a sudden the sand crawler pulls up. I know. He brings him in. That was then, crazy. Yeah. Ooh! What? Boba Fett versus Boba versus Fett. Boba Fett. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh that's my, cool. Boba Fett. <laughs> Boba Fett. Where? <laughs> and of course, the child was still amazing. Yep. And it wasn't really a child-focused episode, but he was there and it was cool. And he was awesome as usual. So. Yeah. I thought it was cool how they went back back to Tatooine after you know. Yeah. Old episodes. Okay, so now we get back into the meat of the story. So we saw the armor. And then at the very end of the episode, we saw the letterbox format started coming in. We thought, oh, the credits are going to come here. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do the music going. 
Oh, another oh, good version of the Mandal- Mandalorian theme. Yeah. So then right at the end, when the Mandalorian is going away on a speeder bike with Baby Yoda. We saw. We saw. You know who. Boba Fett. Well, it's got to be Boba Fett. We saw Tamora Morrison, the actor who played Jango Fett, all of them standing on, standing on the mountain, on, on the cliff. Oh. With, like, no hair. Mm-hmm. Gaffy stick. Yeah, and we're all this arm, we're all this armor around him. Yeah, that was. And, neat. and he just turns around and, and walks off. So it's got to be Boba Fett. I mean, the only other person it could be would be another clone. Um, that's it. It was not. It's not Captain Rex because he's older. Yeah, he is. He is pretty old. I mean, in Rebel he must have been like maybe fifty. Well, because remember, remember in Attack of the Clones, they said like all the clones age twice as fast, right, as no, as normal old people. Hmm. So that's, that's why they so they can grow quicker to get the army. But Django, when Django requested um, to have his own clone, which was Boba Fett, mm-hmm. he didn't want him to age as fast. He was gonna Boba Fett ages just, just like, like normally, just, just just as Django did. So so he wouldn't be as old. Yeah, think, you're right. Yeah, because like the Mandalorian takes place like five. I think it's five or seven years. I after. Was, I think it's seven years after Return of the, yeah, the Jedi. Yeah, it's five. But I can't remember exactly, but yeah. I, years after Return of the Jedi, so. Oh, and I know this is not really the biggest part of the episode, but I think it's still worth mentioning. We couldn't forget about the one-eyed monster in the end. What's his name? Um. Oh, the um, the Cyclops guy at the beginning. Yeah, John Leguizamo. That's right, John That Leguizamo. was cool. That was cool that he did the voice. I didn't, I would never have known that was him doing the voice of that character at the beginning of the episode. I thought it was cool how, um, those pigs from um, Jabba's oh. palace were in, in the boxing arena. Yeah, the Gamorreans. That was neat. The Gamorreans were battling in like in like the boxing arena at the beginning. That was cool too. Yeah. And that was neat. So yeah, I got to so, so the plot of Mandalorian. So far, it seems like the Mandalorians gonna be going out and hunting down for other Mandalorians to help him return the child back to the Jedi. So I'm guessing. Okay, hold on, hold on. Before you tease it, okay, we're gonna jump ahead now. Only wants to change a character, but. Who, do, who else do we think is going to be in this season of The Mandalorian? By rumors or by story? Who do we, who do we think it's going to be? Rumors. Okay, so what's the rumor? Owen's going to put it on. I think we're going to see Hello. Ahsoka. That's right, Ahsoka Tano. There's been so many rumors that mm-hmm. Rosario Dawson is going to be playing Ahsoka Tano, which would be so cool. Yep, the one the only Rosario, da- Rosario Dawson. Yep. And if you guys watch Rebels and Clone Wars... You'll know that at this time in the Star Wars timeline, Ahsoka, well, she should be. The last we saw Ahsoka was in Star Wars Rebels Mm -hmm. when she went off with Sabine Wren. To find Ezra. To find Ezra. I hope we can see Sabine in the show because she's a Mandalorian. I I would be shocked if we didn't see Sabine um, this season. I think it's going to be the first, like, Rebels tie-in. Oh, really? To Mandalorian, I think, yeah. Oh. Well, the first of all, I can think. I don't think there's been anybody else, so. Oh, yeah, you are right. And we're also going to see... Oh, I can't remember her name right now. That person. Oh, I can't believe I can't remember her name. Anyway. In Clone Wars? Yeah, the, um, the Mandalorian who, who has a Darksaber at the end in Rebels, yeah. Because yeah, huh. Moff Gideon has the Darksaber, so we have, we're going to find mm-hmm. out how he got it. I want to see how he got it, personally. Yeah, I'm dying to know how, how Moff Gideon ended up with the dark saber. So that's gonna be really interesting to see. So I think he is. Yeah, because I remember seeing having the dark saber in Rebels, but you wonder how he got it. Yeah, how did he get it? He must have like taken it. Like what? from them, I don't, I don't know. I would like to see a full backstory episode where to see how he got it. Like um, in a show where it. Deals with the present, but also deals with, with the past, showing how we got the dark yeah. and then how they connect in the episode. That would be cool. I think it's going to be like a little flashback thing, just like we saw in the, in the episode yesterday with um, when they showed how he bought the Kofit's armor from the Jawas. Oh, yeah! I think it'll be a thing like that where Moff Gideon is going to, you know, describe to the, to the Mandalorian how he got the dark saber. So. I, that's going to be cool to see, too. But and the other reason why, why I, mean, I think we've got to see Ahsoka is there's now that Moff Gideon has the dark saber mm-hmm. he's gonna like we're gonna see some sort of battle where someone's gonna have to fight him with it with another with a lightsaber so I mean it just makes sense that it's so it would be Ahsoka I mean she, she's she's with Sabine Sabine's a Mandalorian she's got ties to the dark saber 
Mm-hmm. Like, I just can't. It's got to be. What do you, what do you drop it in? A, dar <laughs> a Death Star. Oh, cool. Okay, Owen, so what did you, overall, what did you think of the first episode of, of Season 2 of The Mandalorian? I thought it was neat. Yeah? What, what was your favorite part? Um, I don't know. I thought that whole battle with, with the worm was neat. Oh, with the crate Dragon? Mm-hmm. It's not a worm. It's a crate Dragon. Crate Dragon. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. It was it was pretty epic, too, for, like, you can definitely tell. Like, that could have been a movie. Like, that, like if you were watching that, you would never have thought it's just, like, a, a, like a, a streaming series. Like, it's, like, totally could have been... <laughs> full budget, you know, Star Wars movie it was really cool. That would have been neat. I was like, wait a second, why is the camera going full screen? I'm like, oh, I thought someone directed it, and I thought I thought the wrong person. Oh yeah, Owen thought Robert Robert um, Rodriguez directed it yeah. last night, right? Did yeah. you guys see like all the IMAX stuff? And I thought I was like, when does when does Star Wars ever go full screen? Yeah, and he does direct at least one episode this season, so it's gonna be interesting so to see what his episodes I'm like. I'm excited. Yeah. But yeah, so John Favreau directed the first episode. You, you kind of tell. I, that's what I was thinking watching the style. I'm like, it seems like a John Favreau style. It definitely in Filoni, Dave Filoni's, you, know, you can d definitely uh, get his, you know, his fingerprints are all over it. So I think it's going to come with, I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm guaranteed Dave Filoni's going to direct the episode if we see Ahsoka or Sabine. That's going to be Dave Filoni's episode for sure. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. He, he's you know he, with rebels and Clone Wars. I mean, mm -hmm. those are those are Ahsoka is kind of like his character, even though George Lucas came up with it with, with Ahsoka. Oh. It was it, Dave Filoni really shaped Ahsoka into the character that she became. So. Hmm. Okay. I know this is <laughs> off topic about Star Wars, mm -hmm. but I think it's worth mentioning. I like how when they don't place when they don't make a character, they place these little characters that you you, you can place in in the box. I know. And there's it's Hera. I wish we had a Hera figure. She's so cool. She would actually would have been neat. Yeah, it's too bad because we got all the other They were making one actually. Really? Oh they were, that's right. But I don't understand how they released all those Star Wars Rebels characters, but they didn't put Hera out. Probably because she doesn't get enough cool stuff. She she's like the best pilot. She's amazing. I I think I don't know why I didn't make her honestly. I know it's so <clears> annoying. <throat> like, like, why would they do all the other characters in the show but not Hera? Like, you're right. Like, they, come on. Like, they should have just made Hera right from the beginning. She's really cool. I want. I think we should just need a Chopper character. Yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. Chop. Okay, so yeah, you, okay. Sorry, I'm wrong. There wasn't a Chopper figure either, but that would have been cool too. Yeah. Mm, yeah. He's hilarious. He'd be great. I'm trying to find another. Where are they? I don't. Know. Okay, so let's bring on. The next character, even though we've already talked about her, let's bring mm. on the next character that we think we're going to see in this new season of The Mandalorian. You already know who it is. Sabine! Sabine Wren. Another cool Star Wars Rebels character. Okay, I, I want to mention this again, but this is another cool thing I wish they, I like, I they could have done in Disney Infinity. Mm -hmm. Since the game shut down, sadly, they should have just released toy power discs for characters so that it could show their new looks in the, in the new movies. Kind of like with Luke. Oh, yeah. There could have been a power disc for him that he could have. And I know, but they just stopped making the whole thing. So they're not going to make power discs just for a game that they're not working on anymore, right? So I know. But it would have been cool if there's a way you could, like... Mm -hmm. If they would have given us some more updates or something to, like, get the new looks. Like, if you could get Luke to look like, um... You know, the Force Awakens Luke, right? Yeah. That would be cool. I think it would have been cool to see Ahsoka with her white lightsaber. Oh, yeah. White yeah. lightsabers and yeah. rebels. Her white, her white lightsaber is really cool. Oh, I really like her blue ones in, in Season 7 of Star Clone Wars. Go yeah. watch it now. It's good. Yeah, you guys, if you haven't seen... What's it called? The, the end of the Clone Wars. Siege it's of Mandalore? So good. Yeah, Siege of Mandalore. Which I think is good. It's definitely... Well, it ties right into the Mandalorian because in that... In the Siege of Mandalore... Well, actually, no. Before that, we didn't see... Um, that, but anyway. Yeah, it all ties in to the Mandalorian. So it's really mm -hmm. cool. The end of Rebels and the end of, of the Clone Wars are, are very well, very much connected. That battle with Thrawn was really awesome. Oh, that was cool, actually, yeah. I just... Whoa, what's this? How did you zoom in like that? I don't know. I was just battling him, and then I pressed finisher, and then that thing came up. I want to see if I can do it again. I've never seen that before. That was crazy. Okay. Mm. That was weird. I mean, I've never seen that before. I'm going to try and get it up again, because that was crazy. Guys, if you know how to, how to do that, please tell us, because... You guys are awesome in giving us little tips and stuff in the comments of these videos, so... If you've seen that before, that zoom-in thing, please tell us how to, how to do it. And, and I want to do it again. Do that. Yeah, that was cool. 
Okay, I'm gonna on this guy. Hey, over here! That's right, come to Papa. Okay, guys, you know what we're gonna... Oh, you just did it! That's our finisher, oh, cool. Oh, it's the paint! Yeah, cool. She paints them she and paints then them. she explodes them. That was it, cool. That's gotta be the only finisher that zooms in like that, at least as far as I've seen. I, I gotta see that again. I haven't seen another character do that. That's cool. Uh huh. Guys, if you know, if there's another character that does something interesting like that, like a zoom in on the fin on the finisher move, please tell us. Okay, I'll try again. Okay, guys, so what? We're gonna make this a series, I think. Owen and I are gonna do this. Oh, very there we, cool. There we go. Pew! Boom. Owen and I, are, I think we're gonna, if Owen wants to do it, we're gonna make this a series right after every Mandalorian episode. Ooh. We're gonna do another Toy Box Fun and talk about the characters. Now that and, is awesome. Yeah, and talk about what we think of the Mandalorian episode. I think we're gonna get eight again, if I had to guess. We're gonna get eight new eight mm -hmm. new episodes this season. So we'll do eight Toy Box Funs talking about Mandalorian season two. So tell us in the comments of this video what you thought of the first episode, what you think is going to happen, what your favorite part was, who your favorite... Oh, there, okay, before we go, one last thing. There were so many Easter eggs in this episode. Yeah, my favorite, lot. My favorite was seeing R5. Yeah! That was so cool. And in A New Hope, when his motivator gets destroyed. Yep. Uncle Owen. We saw R5 in on Tatooine in the hangar when the Mandalorian comes back to the hangar. It was so cool. He, he When he walked up and then he had the little... You know, you'd see like the, the black stuff around mm -hmm. and it's at the top of his head where the motivator blew. I was like, oh my god, that's amazing. It's R5 from New that, Hope. That blew my mind. I was like, yay! Yeah. Or as Luke called him, Red. Remember? Well, well come on, Red. Let's go. Yeah. So, guys, as, guys, as I was saying, tell us in the comments what your favorite part of this new Mandalorian episode was. Any Easter eggs that you saw. Oh, There's a lot of Easter eggs in this episode going back to Star Wars stuff. So. I didn't make it. You didn't make it, yeah. Okay, guys, so thanks for watching. Tell us what you, if you want to see more, and we'll talk to you guys in the next Mandalorian recap Toy Box Fun. Right, Owen? Yep, can't wait. Okay, bye, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>